Colin thinks he's going to make his own car, he's going to make his own car. <laughs> More or less retired from you no know, the competition after after Citroen year, uh, he looked at things and he listened to people and you know the money people were spending in Group N cars and uh, he thought the right thing would be to build something that was affordable. Well, when I say affordable, Group N price, but something that would be a bit more exciting, a bit better to drive, and it would be a driver's car. You know, he's not relying on active diffs and stuff like that. And this was the idea he came with the R4. Normally aspirated engine, uh, six-speed gearbox, uh, four-wheel drive, standard diffs. The, the metros, you know, that people love that, the sound. And, you know, the BDA escorts and the, the, he wanted something like that. He didn't want turbocharging. Well, basic, basically, as normal, it's this, the display here gives you water temperature, oil temperature, rev counter, gear change, handbrake, fan, that's the fan if you if, to run the fan to keep the car cool. Uh, there's a spotlights, water temperature. Uh, this here is ignition, fuel pump on, ignition on, start. <laughs> The first time I sat with Colin in a rally car, uh, I, I co-drove for him. <laughs> and uh, the first few corners I thought, no, slow, <laughs> steady. <laughs> then I got, oh, this guy can drive. And, you know, I knew then there was definitely, there was something there. Did you co-drive for him again? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Been there, done it. Done it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, this car, if you look back to this car, the first time it was run in, in half earnest was at uh, uh, Goodwood Festival of Speed. And, you know, his time was within, what, a second and a half of Peter Solberg in the, the work Subaru at that time. So, and that, you know, that was the very first time it had been run properly in gravel. I'm, I'm pretty confident it was very popular. You know, a keen rally driver getting the, the choice to uh, going to buy a rally car, if it was a hundred grand, say, for a Group N car, they could spend the same or slightly more for that, yeah. if, they're, if they're a driver and really enthusiastic rally driver. There's no question, no question. It must be a massive sense of missed opportunity. Uh, yes, it is, and you know, just every time you take the, the, when the car's there and you take the cover off it to do something to come here, you know, you think bloody hell, you know, what a waste. Mm. Mm.